Hello, I'm Ashley from the Tech Peg, and I'm going to demonstrate how to create a web browser using Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express or whatever version of this software you have. I'm going to demonstrate how you can create wait for it, wait for it, this in about like 10 minutes or so. So you, uh, you can go to a bunch of websites, anything, you can even do a Google search, it's all good. Right, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. I'm going to start off by deleting everything and we're going to start from scratch now what we're going to need first is preferably where is it hang on finding it can be quite difficult it's not tab control it's a tool strip there it is and let's create a little tool strip along the top here and let's create a button and this button will be for um, going to your home. All right, this is your home button. I'll, I'll probably set that to Google soon. But um, yeah, that's your home button. So we're gonna go home button. All right, new button. This one could be the back button. Back button. Uh, you can assign images to these. I don't have any images at the moment, so or do I? I'll, I'll, I'll get some later. Actually, I'll demonstrate how to assign images. It's gonna be forward and the forward. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. OCD time. Forward button. If they're all lowercase, then this one should be lowercase. No special people's. Okay, forward buttons are all done. Uh, let's then create text box. Can I size that up? Oh well, screw it. Oh, I, I can size it up here. Can I make it like 200? Oh, cool. Can I make it even big? I need it bigger. That's what she. No, no, that isn't what she said actually. Not yet, at least. Um. Then this is the search box. Let's create a new button. And then this can be the go button. Go button. And am I missing anything else? Go, go. At refresh. Every web browser needs a refresh button. Refresh. And then the stop button, which should hopefully stop loading the web page. Stop button. Uh, demonstrating that is sometimes difficult. Uh, hang on a second, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so. Uh, then we've got our stop button. We can now implement the web browser, which is also a handy little button. See, the thing about C Sharp, and I think Visual Basic is the same here, it's just easy. You just have this stuff here you just have this browser it's wonderful web browser one works uh oh and the default url can be http 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 i don't think that works uh http google.com cool okay so as i was saying really easy to implement here um so now that's uh i'm gonna quickly pause the video and grab us some images I just realized something like, stupid I already have images. They're to my right here yeah, and uh Oh can I open them? So I don't I think I can use these still, I think. Mm. Wait, no they've got PNGs. I'm really sure they have to be icons. Yeah, I'm not sure if this will work. Um hang on a second, we'll be back in a second, I'm gonna give this a shot actually. Okay, so I finally got the images. Uh, this is how you import them. Click on, click on your button image. Click that import. And this one is the back button, I believe. So where is that actually? That's somewhere else. God damn it! No, it's not on that one. Go with that, 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 that that 
Pop that. Sorry, my files are all over the place at the moment. Uh, that, that, that. Uh, arrow next. And then got that. Import. What's this one again? Um, this is a search one, isn't it? Search. I think I used a different one last time, but oh well. <laughs> and then we got the refresh button. I believe. Stop pressing. Huh. Right, it's all nicely set up. Right, now let's go and clicky clicky on the home button, and we get this. Okay, I don't want to do a home button. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do web browser one dot connect. Is it connect or is it go? Bear with. I'm trying to remember the actual one for this. Go search. HTTP dot dot dash dash Google dot com. Would that work? Let's test it, eh? Build there is, I assume, so. Hang on. This is what I try to remember. See, so it was actually the browser. One dot navigate. My bad. HTTP dot dot dash dash Google dot com. And. There we go. That should just navigate us to Google. Nice, right. Next one, the back button. Very simple once again. Web browser dot go back. That's it. And you probably guessed it for this one. Web browser dot go forward. Whoops. Very basic stuff. Search one. This one's gonna be basic for a second. <sighs> okay, we'll see. Takes what's called. Search box. Okay. Web browser one dot navigate. Search box dot text. Right, just grabbing the text within the search box. And so if I do this, this isn't gonna end well. Don't. No. No. Home. Back to home. Derp. And search. Yeah, nothing's going to happen because it's not a thing. But if I do, yeah, it's basically not. Oh, Google.com. And search. I can go to that. It's because we haven't implemented Google search yet. Which we're about to do now. So hang on. Load up your web browser. And you go straight to Google. I can't do it here, can I? No, I can't. Hang on. I do. <coughs> click on. Double clicking your web browser a second. Document completed. Uh, search box. Oh. Well, I got a bit of a cold today, sorry. Equals web browser dot. Scroll through. Got text? No, um, it's something. It is something. Or is it dot URL? Yes, dot URL, I think. Wait, hang on. Find dot two string. Happy? Hopefully, with a little bit piece of luck, this should. Right, it's like cool. That means I can then do a Google search. <sighs> Full screen now, a second. Aren't I sure? Search. 
refresh. Refresh isn't working. Back, forward. Okay, it is loading it. This is different to what I did last time. Bear with. Okay, so here's the actual thing now. Okay, so this is how. God damn it. Yeah, okay. I've learned I've learnt the errors of my ways. So if search box contains ww or http or dot com or dot co or dot org dot ac dot uk then it will do a proper like http search which I'll demonstrate now. So it'll do actually a proper web page search. If it doesn't do any if you don't type any of those then the browser will go, oh hey, so you want to just search by Google? Cool. Then we'll do, then we'll never get by Google by doing HTTPS, Google dash search, question mark Q equals, and then the text that you've inputted. And you should come out with this. So we do derp, search, all well and good. Okay, it's all good. Next. We go to the refresh, and we're almost done here. Web browser one dot refresh. Ding ding ding. And then we close one, which is that. No, it's not close. It's stop. There it is. Good lord. Right, stop. And now your web browser should hopefully work perfectly. So you know we can go to the well, you, no, 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 we'll, we'll Google so no, no, like www dot YouTube. Yeah, that one like dot com. Still a few bits of tweaking needed, but it, oh well. Yeah, so you can easily get to Google, YouTube, anywhere, and you got a bunch of those. So we're going to get die. Uh, you know, you can go to the tech blog. Mm, that's our channel. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, run the script. You can even download as well. I don't have anything to test it on, but you can download stuff from this web browser as well. There is some stuff where it doesn't tend to download as well, but other than that, it's pretty good. <sighs> Anyways, I right, just play uh, videos as well. It should play it by audio. Okay. Okay, does it want to work? Understanding the stuff. No, advertising, but it works. Ah, see, there's your web browser. All done. If you have any more questions, just post them in the comment section below. And uh, I'm Ashley, signing out the tick play. See you later.